Hey everyone, Tim Streifler here with Divi Life. And in this getting started tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set up a overlay and a text link click trigger in Divi Overlays, specifically Divi Overlays 2.0. Now, if you've been using Divi Overlays prior to version 2.0, then you'll notice that a couple things have changed. Uh, we've now made creating overlays easier. Uh, it's simpler, it's, it's less steps. We've completely gotten rid of the content short code, so we've eliminated an entire step. Uh, and so now uh, adding overlays is as simple as creating the overlay in the back end and setting up the trigger on your page um, or also uh, you could set up a, a click trigger as, or an automatic trigger as well. So um, we're gonna be going over in this tutorial the uh, setting up the, the, the overlay itself and then um, gonna show you how to set up a text link click trigger now, as of 2.0, we now have two different types of triggers. We have uh, the typical click trigger, click triggers that we launched uh, in the original Divi overlays, which is uh, like you see in the demo here. You have a button, you have a text link, you have an image, you click, the overlay opens up. And uh, now in, in Divi overlays 2.0, we now have automatic triggers. And so automatic triggers can be uh, a timed-based delay. So you set how many seconds uh, you want uh, to delay the automatic trigger uh, or the overlay to, to automatically trigger. Uh, we also have scroll-based triggers. So you can say uh, how long you want the, the user to scroll down the page and you can define that in percentage, the percentage of the page, as well as how many pixels that they've scrolled. And then once they reach that, uh, it'll automatically trigger the overlay. And then exit intent is our third automatic trigger, which is when they leave the page. Um, so it, whether they're going to go click the back button, they're gonna go uh, you know, change the URL bar, close the window, et cetera, it'll automatically trigger the overlay, which is a really popular um, marketing technique now to kind of get that last effort to, to grab the user's attention with an offer or a freebie, et cetera. And so um, those are the, the, the two main types of triggers. We also have URL triggers, which was actually released um, <clears throat> prior to, to version 2.0. However, it wasn't as, um, as, as uh, publicized and we, we didn't have any documentation on it. So we'll be uh, putting forth that documentation for URL triggers as well. Um, so all that to say, uh, those are the, the different types of triggers that we have for Divi Overlays. In this video uh, right now though, uh, we're only going to go through the uh, click trigger, uh, specifically a text link click trigger, uh, but there's other documentation that you can find um, here on the, the Divi Life website for Divi overlays. Uh, so setting up uh, other types of click triggers, so images and buttons, different Divi modules, menu links, etc., as well as how to set up those automatic triggers that we just talked about. So I'm gonna be going through this getting started guide that you see here. Um, for this tutorial. And so as you can see here, uh, there's two steps to the overlay. Creating the overlay, which is setting it up in the back end like you would you know, a page or a post. It's a custom post type in WordPress. And then setting up the overlay trigger. And as I've mentioned several times now, uh, in this video we'll be doing the text link click trigger. And so uh, before we get to step one, we're actually gonna go to step zero, which is uploading and activating the plugin, which I'm not gonna show you. Most people know how to do that. If you have any trouble, uh, go to our uh, support page here on Divi Life. You can find a link to it in the, the footer. Um, and so, uh, and then the next thing is activating the license. And so I am gonna show you that. So let's see here, let me go back here. Uh, so in order to activate your license for Divi Overlays, you need to log into the My Account page on Divi Life. And once you log in, you'll see something that looks like this. And uh, if you haven't figured out where to download it, I'm gonna go ahead and show you where to download it. You're gonna find it in API Downloads. Now, if you purchase one of our, our previous products such as Divi Dashboard Welcome or Royal Commerce, um, those downloads are in the download section and I realize it's counterintuitive, it's just the way that our API licensing software sets it up. So the download for Divi Overlays will be under API Downloads. And so you're just gonna go click download there. And then once you have it activated or installed and activated, then you're gonna come over here to the API keys and you're going to copy this API key. And I'll show you where that you're gonna paste that in a second. And then also you're gonna need this API email here as well. 
Uh, and this page also shows you how many activations you have remaining. So uh, for this account, I, I use this account here for my client sites and I have, I've activated three out of unlimited because I have an unlimited plan. Uh, you can also see what sites have been activated with this license key and you can choose to delete them. Uh, and so if you uh, accidentally d remove a site that you had a license activated on and you don't have unlimited and you, you wanna be able to um, free up that license again, well, you can come to your My Account page and you can delete it right from here. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my sample site here and show you where to add the license key. So you're gonna go to Settings, Divi Overlays, Activation. And you're gonna paste that API key here and that API email right there and then click save and then you'll get a little message that says if it was successfully activated and how many activations you have left and then you'll see these green check marks like we see here. So that's how you activate it, deactivate the same way. So you can, as I showed you, you can do it from your My Account page, you can also do it directly on the site. Click the checkbox, click save and that will deactivate the license from this site. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and, and get started with creating the overlay. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to Divi Overlays, Add New. So just like a page or a post or other custom post types, when you click on the menu item, you're uh, at the main screen here, it'll show you all the, the uh, Divi Overlays that you created, which we haven't created any yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Add New. And I'm gonna give it a title. Now this title is only for your own organizational purposes. It does not show anywhere on the overlay on the front end um, or in the HTML or anything like that. It's simply just for your own organizational purposes. I'm gonna go ahead and call this contact form overlay. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click the big purple use the Divi Builder button that I'm sure you're familiar with. And then that's gonna enable the Divi Builder. Now from here, you can optionally just start creating customizing to your heart's content, um, adding modules, rows, et cetera, background images, you name it. Um, and you may choose to do that. However, sometimes it's, it's uh, easier to start from a template. And so we have included a template with Divi overlays. I'm gonna show you which, what we've included. So um, you might've seen this in our promo video um, as well as the screenshots for Divi overlays, but you can see here for this overlays that we have here on the Divi Life website, uh, we have this nice modal type of window, the rounded corners, you can see the drop shadow. Uh, it kind of gives you that typical pop-up or, or modal or light box look to it. And so uh, that's what the, the template is that we're gonna be using. Um, now at the time of this video, this right here is the only template that we have. However, we hope to, to have several others uh, by the time uh, Divi Overlays 2.0 has officially launched and when you would be watching this video. Um, and so I'm gonna show you where they're gonna be. They're gonna be on your My Account panel. You're gonna go to Downloads. So not API Downloads. API Downloads are only for the products that use the API key, such as Divi Overlays. But for the um, sample layouts for Divi Overlays, you're gonna find them under Downloads, Classic Modal Sample Layout for Divi Overlays. You're gonna go to, to this spot right here and uh, under File, and just click that. It's gonna go ahead and download it for you. You can go ahead and unzip it, it'll automatically unzip for you. And then, uh, yeah, you can just leave it on your computer for a second and we're gonna import it into the Divi Overlay Edit screen in a second. So once we add more uh, sample layouts here as templates, you'll see them show up here and you can download them at any time. Um, okay, so let's get back to the sample website here. So, um, Again, you can start creating from scratch or what you can do is you can import the layout. Now, um, this is where you're gonna import the layout. You're gonna click on the up and down arrow icon right here. You're gonna click over to the import tab, click choose file. Now you're gonna find where you just downloaded that file. Click the import button, give it a second to, to load in. This is a very lightweight layout, so it should import very quickly. It's not importing any images or anything like that. So uh, once you see the screen back to its normal state with the layout in there, you know it's done. And so this layout here, we just have um, a, a text module here with a title. Uh, I'm also, just for the heck of it, I'm gonna add a contact form right here. Just so I'm gonna leave the default settings in there. Okay. So we've added the content. I can go in and customize it more, but just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna skip that. 
And now the next thing that we want to do, so I'm following along in this guide here, is select a overlay background color. And so that's right here. And I'm just going to choose a nice blue. You can optionally choose to paste in a hexadecimal if you'd like. Um, so I'm, I already just you know chose my color there. I'm going to change the transparency or the opacity. Uh, there's a slider right here. I'm going to change that to about 90%. It'll be 10% um, transparent, I guess you could say. And so you can see here, once you do that, it changes to RGBA. And so uh, you can, if you want, uh, paste in an RGBA value as well for the color. Uh, you'll notice the overlay font color. You don't need to touch this if, as long as you're using the the, uh, the Divi Builder. Um, for some reason, if you wanted to have just a, a simple uh, overlay without using um, and you wanted to change the font color, you could do it here. But um, it's kind of just there as a just in case type of situation. Um, but 99.9% .9 of the time, you won't ever need to, to change the overlay font color. Okay, and so before I hit publish, the next thing I'm gonna do is choose the Divi overlay animation. Fade and slide is the typical, um, or I'm just, sorry, the, the default um, overlay animation. So you can keep it there if you'd like, or you can choose one of the other uh, 11 overlays. I'm gonna click slide down, that's always a good one. It'll slide down from the top of the screen. Now you'll notice there's other settings, other things here. Uh, we're not going to talk about them in this tutorial video, but you can watch some of our other tutorial videos um, and look at the documentation to learn about the other ways to customize the overlays and, and set up the uh, automatic triggers and, and uh, so forth. So um, I can go ahead and click publish now. And we have now published the first overlay. So we have now completed step <clears throat> Oops. Step one of the um, getting started uh, tutorial. So step one is creating the overlay in the in the back end uh, under the Divi Overlays edit screen. And then step two is setting up the overlay trigger. Now you'll notice if you've been using Divi Overlays since version one that we no longer have uh, adding the content shortcode to the page. That is now done automatically um, with Divi overlays, and so it will automatically add the content to the page if it recognizes that there's a trigger set up for that page. Uh, so you don't need to worry about that. So now what we want to do is we want to set up the overlay trigger, and so this paragraph here explains the different types of triggers, um, and then we'll have links to all the other tutorials for the, the different uh, triggers, different uh, click triggers, images, buttons, menu links, different automatic triggers, time delay, scroll delay, exit but intent. For this tutorial, we're, we're just going to stick with the basic text link click trigger. And so to do that, we're going to go ahead and grab this link template. And so by the way, the only thing that's really needed to trigger an overlay is to add the ID with your overlay unique ID, which is found on the overlay edit screen. So that's really the only thing that's needed. Uh, it's also helpful in a text link to add an href. Uh, you can really add anything you want in there. Um, oops, I'm going to go ahead and refresh this page right here. Um, and so by default, open overlay is just kind of a good uh, default there. Um, I mean, you can have it say whatever you want. Um, but uh, the reason you don't necessarily need that there, you can get rid of the href. Um, but there's a, a weird glitch with the WordPress text editor where it will uh, basically strip out. Um, it'll basically it'll mess up your link when you go from the text tab to the visual tab and so forth. So if you keep something like this in there, the href, then it'll keep that from happening when you switch back and forth from the visual tab to the text tab. Uh, and so it'll, yeah, so I recommend just keeping that there. And so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna copy. Oops this entire link template here. And I'm gonna go to page. So I have a, a page opened up, just a, a layout here. And I'm gonna go ahead and paste it, let's see, right in here. Now this is the template, so I can't save it. I need to update these ID numbers right here. So I'm gonna go back to my overlay edit screen. And as of 2.0, we've added the CSS and menu ID right here, so you don't have to go back to the main screen to, to grab these numbers. Um, it used to be that you'd have to click back over to Divi Overlay screen and, and grab it there. So it's still there, but it's just easier. It's right here. So we copied this. I'm gonna go ahead and update this ID right here. Paste that in there. 
And so I'm going to go ahead and actually just for, for the sake of this demo, I'm going to leave that text there the same. Just leave that default. I'm going to go ahead and click save, update the page. All right, I'm going to open this in a new tab. Okay, so this is our text link trigger. So when you click, it opens the overlay. And so you can see here we have our default um, sample layout with the, the rounded corners and the, the drop shadow. Uh, of course, it's optional. You can use a, a different sample layout um, or just start one from scratch as well. And so you'll, you'll notice right here that the close button is being overlapped by the admin bar. Uh, that's just because we're logged in. That won't be the case uh, for users that are logged out. Um, so go ahead and show you that again. There it is. Boom. So we have just created our first Divi overlay with a text link click trigger. Of course, you can set up all different types of triggers, click triggers, automatic triggers, and there's documentation with videos for, for each of those in the Divi overlays documentation section. So uh, if you get stuck or need any help, um, don't forget that you can uh, contact us uh, over on our support page. So you can get to the support, um, get support under the, the Divi store or in the footer, get support, and we'd be more than happy to, to help you out. Uh, but take a look at the, the rest of the documentation under the Divi overlay section in our knowledge base, because uh, lots of great uh, documentation there, articles, uh, as well as videos too, so you can, um, uh, learn how to set up different triggers and, and, and do all the different features of, of Divi overlays. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.